All right, guys, as I mentioned, we're joined by Houston Dynamo FC head coach Paulo Nagamura. Uh, Paulo, thank you for taking a couple of minutes with us. Uh, we'll just start off, if you would, just, uh, your overall thoughts on the game this evening, please. Uh, overall, I think uh, the team uh, played uh, very well. I think uh, first half, conceding a set piece goal was a frustrating part because I think we're, uh, we, we kind of had control of the game and we, uh, we knew how Dallas could hurt us on transition moments. And with Velasco, Ariola, Ferreira playing between the lines. So um, uh, that was frustrating. The first half, consider uh, going to halftime, it was one one nil down. But I think the guys responded really well in the second half. I think uh, when Hector came in, Tor came in, I think uh, I think the energy, I think the players just uh, feed off the energy of the building. I think uh, they were very, very urgent to go forward, uh, very aggressive minded. And I think that show on the field where uh, we scored a goal, we, we we got taken one goal from us, and we, we can talk later about it. Uh, even though uh, conceding late on a transition moment again, uh, uh, the guys fought hard and, and, and gave it everything we had. And, and at the end of that, I think we felt that we, we, we got out of this game uh, hurt and disappointed because I think we were the better team uh, for all the 90 minutes. We create more chances. We're more dangerous. Uh, um, and again, uh, I think the goal that was called back, uh, it was just I'm waiting to see what's going to be the explanation this time because uh, I, I don't have one. I don't have one uh, explanation for that goal being called back. So. Um, uh, I'm pleased with the group overall, with the way that we finished the second half, and we got abused from that. Okay, thank you, Paul. We'll start with questions here in the room in, in English. We'll start with Dustin here in the front. Hey, Paulo. Um, obviously, conceding late, like you guys did in stoppage time. How big was it for the guys to not give up there? You know, it looks like you know a lot of teams could just kind of give up there. We gave up the goal, but to come back, um, Darwin to have that shot and just put pressure on them and get teenage forward. Um, just kind of talk about um, what that meant. For you guys. Yeah, look, we're playing home, we're playing for a win. We don't play for tie. Uh, and after we scored the second goal, I was trying to urge the guys to get back and go and get a ball because we, we're not happy with the tie here. So, uh, prop, props to our guys. They, they, fought, they fought until the end. We had chances to win the game, and I think we, um, we, we could have done a better job there on the final touch and the last finish. Uh, but again, I, I'll take the positives from the team, and I think it was, uh, it was a very good second half overall. And it, it may go overlooked with all the craziness and stoppage time, but Steve had a couple of huge saves, one on Ferrero where he was one on one. How big is it to have a goalkeeper like Steve that can, you know, single handedly win you some points like that? Yeah, I mean, Steve is, you know, as I experienced from MLS goalkeepers, been around for long and uh, we know what he brings to the table. He's a great leader in our locker room and, and uh, we know that when we need him, when we need him uh, to make a save to bail us out, he, he does so. Okay, we'll go to Robert and then the back and Chris. Robert Kelly, Texport Publications. Coach, what did you say at the halftime and what did you change for the second half as far as your game strategy? I think the game strategy was the same from first and second half. I think we just came up with a little bit more urgency and simplifying, simplifying the things that, were, that we, we had planned to do. I think in the first, first half, I think for a lot of times we tried to overcomplicate stuff. Try to play the final pass from 60 yards out. Uh, I think uh, in the second half we we'll, we we're just connecting short passes much better, and pushing Dallas back. And I think that what made us uh, better in the second half. Go ahead, Chris. I am. Um, this is Chris Africa Sport Network. Um, after the after um, what's his name Herrera made his debut today. Do you think you're finally gotten your leader? And second question is. After his performance today, have you finally gotten your missing link in the midfield, knowing we had um, problems in the defensive midfield in the past? Yeah, look, uh, Hector brings a lot of leadership. His natural leadership skills, I think, he, he, it's, it's just going to uh, give us a boost there uh, in terms of uh, of leadership. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, he could, he, could, he could be a missing link in the midfield, but we have to see it, right? Uh, he's only been here with, with us for a week. We gotta make sure that uh, uh, we manage it physically him well because he just joined us. But yes, we will we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes throughout the throughout the, throughout the weeks. Okay, we'll go to Sam in the back, and then we've got one question on Zoom in English before we switch to Spanish. Um, Coach Paul, um, 
but a great performance, great atmosphere. You know, the fans brought that noise that we've missing here at the PNC Stadium. Looking at Teenage Hadebe going forward in his offensive abilities, you know, what can you say about him? Uh, look, uh, Teenage are center back. His primary uh, job is to defend and make sure that we have a solid back line there. But uh, I think it shows, uh, it shows the willingness to do what it needs to be done at the end of the game to tie the game or to win the games. And, and Teenage has that on him. He, he never gives up. Uh, he fights until the end, and he got awarded a great goal today. So I'm happy for him. OK, next we'll go to a question here on Zoom from Sydney Hunt. Go ahead, Sydney. Sydney. Carlos Sydney Hunt from MLMsoccer.com. Um, you mentioned earlier about Ekta coming in and bringing energy to the team as soon as he entered. Um, we look at him, I believe he was involved in the goal that Thor scored. Um, we look at him, how can he elevate this club from where it is right now and really make a push toward a playoff spot? Thank you. Look, Hector is going to make everyone around around him better. I think with, with the qualities that he has, I think he's going to make our team better. Uh, again, he's not a solution, but he definitely going to increase the quality of our team. And we just got to find the ways of uh, how we can we can uh, put him on our team that he can play his best soccer and 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 make the guys around him uh, better. So uh, I'm pleased with his debut. I think it was a very positive debut. And we, we build from this.